Welcome back everybody. So this video was supposed to start yesterday, but I was getting ready to work on the small block, wrapping the long block, well no, that's short block together. But I ordered the other day, ordered my Permatex sealer, all that kind of stuff. Well, I ordered like the stuff that goes in a caulk gun. Well, for some reason, I could not find a caulk gun. I have bought two before, don't know where they're at. So, it was late last night, didn't feel like going out. So, after work today, swung by the store, picked up a caulk gun. So, I've got gaskets laid out right here. So, we first you start with the timing cover because the oil pan goes over top of the, the timing cover. So, timing cover has to go on first. Then oil pan, get that on. So, like I said, I got ready to get this started yesterday. Then it just didn't work out. It's all good. Okay, so it is the next day. I worked late last night on this motor. So 
you know, I continued on after the one part of that I just did. Went ahead and I was cleaning and cleaning and cleaning, cleaning, cleaning this motor last night. Now, I will tell you, it's not perfect. I've done gone over it, cleaned it, wiped it down, sprayed it down. Well, like I say, I know it's not. Wow, should have thought of that. Um, I know it's not perfect. I'm not trying to make this super perfect anyways. So, we're just going to paint it and hope for the best. Because, again, this isn't a show motor. This isn't a show car. I'm not trying to make this look 100%. You know, we're just trying to get it cleaned up so I can get it in the blazer. So this is going to take me a while. I'll show you the end product. Okay, that didn't take as long as I thought it would. So, oops, a little spot. There we go. Now, it ain't perfect. I mean, hell, there's a run right there. Went back and cleaned that little bit of paint off right there. Rear main seal needs to go on. Then the whole front um, balancer and pulley needs to go on the front. But besides putting the front main seal, the balancer, and the pulley on, this is done <sighs> which is what i wanted to do and another thing today is not the ideal day to be painting it is like yesterday it was freaking nice as i don't know what today it's like 30 some degrees so i'm painting it slightly in the garage because there is some warmth coming out because i do have the heater on and all that kind of stuff so it's a little warm right in here when you step outside the garage yeah so, motor's done. At least a short block is done. This is basically pretty much. Oh, I gotta put the dang on. Ah, oh, forgot about that. Okay. Well, we're real close to being done. So hopefully, I'm gonna try to get this done, wrapped up off camera. Put the last little pieces on it. Ah, oh, every time I look at it, freaking motor mounts. Gotta take the motor mounts off too. Man. So front main seal balancer yeah that assembly right there my brain is done flex plate motor mounts should be able to go in should I'm hoping that'd be nice because I'd like to get this motor out of the garage at least one of them out of the garage then I can maybe start tearing this apart, throwing more of this in the garbage. I think that's all I need to do. Front main seal, balancer. I think. Yeah, I think so. Well, we're going to end this because it's too cold out there for me to be doing. Plus, the paint's got to dry for a day or two. Next video... I would really like to be stuffing that motor in the end of the truck. Because there that heads are right there and they're ready to go so all they need to be done is just going over cleaned a little bit and slapped in because I want to put the short block in and then build the motor in the truck to me it's just a lot easier so I guess that's where we're gonna pick it up in the next video hopefully we'll see all right catch you in the next one